Hey everybody, uh, Tom here. I am doing my uh, MPA4. Um, this is a test run uh, just to make sure. I just did an hour with the, my Soil Food Web Mentor to make sure I had all the steps that I needed to do because um, this, this matters a lot to me. I really want to do well. So I'm going to be doing a, a quick run through uh, just as a um, kind of a personal review for myself actually. Uh, so I, I, I can't schedule my MP4 for another week because these guys are so busy. So um, between now and then, I don't want to forget any of the steps that we just went over. So we're just going to kind of run through real quick. I've already got my sample prepared though. So you guys will have to check out a different video if you want to know how to do that. Um, but so samples done, we're going to wait 10 seconds for that to 10 to 15 um, for the, that to settle now that I just shook it up again. I have my dropper in clean water. So we're going to take bit of the sample and put two uniform drops onto the cover slip or the uh, onto the slide and then we take our clean water and clean our pipette we do twice leave it in the clean water uh, cap on just in case I knock something over here set that to the side Take our cover slip and we are going to very evenly disperse our material like so. And if you guys can see, very even dispersal. There's a little bit of sediment in, this, in the center of that, um, maybe some a little sand that was in there. Um, but now we're going to very important before we put this under there, we move our stage all the way down. Our iris diaphragm should be open, uh, light should be off, um, and our 4X should be dialed in. And then we put the slide in, our stage clip uh, for security, and then turn the light on. We're going to go all the way to the top. And then go down. Uh, after we adjust the light for our eyes so it doesn't hurt our eyes. It's right in there. Um, next, we do the uh, interpupillary distance. Mine's already set. So on that note, we're just going to use the course focus and go downward uh, until we find our material, which is right there. Um, and now we have to... Um, Go to 100x and use the fine focus, like so. So we can set our condenser um, and we can focus our condenser light on our material to make sure we're getting proper illumination. And right here. So that is focused, and we're going to go downward just a hair to get rid of the texture from my um, illumination cover plate uh, and the texture that's on the coming from the the um, the the, con the condenser itself the texture of the glass so um, now we are going to um, go up to 400 x um, and again find focus to get the material in focus there. And I'm just gonna move it over a little bit until we can get away from some of that sand that's in there and get into something we can focus on a little better. And that's good, right in there. Um, but still looking a little soft and that's because we're not shadowing. So now we have to adjust our um, iris diaphragm to then shadow and we get a whole lot sharper. Very nice. And after that, um, the last thing is to adjust our diopters up here for our eyes if, uh, if we have a, like an 80-20 or something. Um, but that's the last step here. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I missed anything. I think that, that covered it all. Um, Pretty sure, pretty sure. So um, to remove this after we are done with our assessment, um, 
then, oh, that's that's hurting. Um, so to, to remove this, we first switch to 4x and we lower our stage. And we open the clip and remove our slide like so, at which point we turn our microscope off, unplug the camera and put the dust cover over our microscope so we don't have to clean it and pay for expensive repairs later. Um, I hope that was right. I think it was. I think I got everything. And um, yes, I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you guys are finding stuff to do that really matters to you. Because uh, I believe in this. I believe in what I'm doing. And it's a good feeling. Um, and I wish that for everybody. So I uh, hope you're having a, a great 2022. And uh, I wish you the best. Have a great day.